We have a surprising update on AOA's Mina, and it's nothing we could have expected. Treasure and TXT will continue promoting with less members, and it has concerned everyone. There's also comebacks and more surprising news, so let's talk about it. After Haze and Dawn, Hyanna is the next P Nation artist to make a comeback. On July 12th, P Nation announced that Hyanna would be making a solo comeback for the first time in a year and a half after the release of her mini album, I'm Not Cool. The comeback title is Nabalera, and the teaser poster features Hyanna standing next to a kitchen counter with a pair of wings on her back. The lyrics poster reads, I fly like a butterfly and land on you. Leave traces of me everywhere. Let me turn you on right. Nabalera will come out on July 20th, so stay tuned for more updates. Itzy are also making a comeback very soon. Their fifth mini album, Checkmate, is set to drop on July 15th. While Itzy teased the album with royalty concept pictures, the concept turned out to be their fresh and youthful image that the public knows and loves them for. The concept change was so drastic that the the public initially thought that the company was pulling a prank on them by releasing Sneakers as a joke while the real title track was expected to come out later. Turns out that Sneakers is very much real and is expected to be the song that Itzy will be releasing. Make sure to check the comeback out when it gets released. SM and YG Entertainment are cooking something behind the scenes and fans don't know how to react. I mean, some have started suspecting that some sort of collab might happen between the artists of the two companies, but what has prompted them to think this way? First of all, G Dragon posted a picture of Onyu's dice on his Instagram story. Then, YG Entertainment's official Twitter account liked a tweet about Shiny's Minho and Ki. Then the unexpected really happened when SM's Spotify account started following Blackpink's Spotify page, and to make things even more bizarre, SM CEO Lee Sung-soo started following Treasure, Blackpink, including Jennie's account, and G Dragon on his personal Instagram account. Though on July 10th, the CEO unfollowed Blackpink's and Jennie's account, so nobody really knows what to think of this. Was it an accident, like that one time with Taehyung and Jenny? Or were they trying to hint at something, a potential collab maybe, but then realized that they revealed too much? We have no idea what's happening, but I might actually combust if Blackpink and Red Velvet get into the studio for a song together. It would be a dream come true. Despite the public thinking that some TWICE members would not end up re-signing with JYP Entertainment, all nine members will continue with the group, which is great. JYP announced, TWICE and JYP came to an agreement to renew based on trust and loyalty from both sides and a certainty for future progress. Though some were surprised, everyone was still glad that TWICE would continue as nine. A netizen commented, Their group promotions were so successful that even if only one member leaves, it would be way too sad. It's not known how many years they renewed for, but what's important is that not only did they renew, but they'll also be making a comeback as nine. On July 13th, TWICE announced their upcoming comeback next month. Their new mini album Between 1 and 2 is set to come out on August 26th, and we couldn't be more excited. We know they'll serve just like they have always done. Both Treasure and TXT will continue promoting with fewer members for the time being. On July 13th, YG announced that Treasure will continue promoting as 10 members due to personal and health issues of members Bang Dam and Ma Shi Ho. They will be absent from the group's comeback this summer to their concert tour, which will take place at the end of the year. Though Treasure aren't the only ones who'll be missing members, as Big Kid announced that Bongyu might not make an appearance on TXT upcoming North American shows. Fans already had some suspicions that Bongyu might not be in the best condition health-wise. In an interview that TXT did in America, Bongyu looked pale and couldn't even keep his head up, concerning fans who asked for the company to give him a break. A fan wrote, He's the kid who kept on holding back to complete the stage, so I wonder how much in pain he was that he left in the middle. Bongyu, please recover well. Big Hit finally came out with a statement regarding his condition and said, On July 11th, Bongyu visited the hospital during Tomorrow by Together's North American schedules due to a deterioration in health. The doctor confirmed that it was safe for Bomgyu to go on stage, and so he participated in the group's show in Atlanta on July 12th, but sat out certain performances as a result of his unrestored health. They said that while Bomgyu is currently resting and prioritizing his health, he has still expressed a desire to appear on the rest of the shows for the tour. But Big Hit said that they're prioritizing his health, and Bomgyu might not appear in some schedules after all. They also ensured fans that they would do their best for Bongyu to come back as healthy as ever, wishing everyone a speedy recovery. I haven't seen a crowd as divided on an issue as when it comes to La Seraphim's Garam. When her mistreatment allegations surfaced before she even got to step foot on stage, fans asked for Source Music not to debut her at all so as to not ruin the group. But not only did Garam debut, but both Source Music and Hive stood beside her, determined to prove the allegations wrong by making their own investigations and suing the accusers. In the end, Garam really did go on hiatus 
this, and Le Seraphim continued promoting as five members, with Hive never really clarifying what really was going on with the investigation. Most of fans were asking the company to remove her from the group altogether because her being a member only affected the group and its reputation in the worst of ways. But now, some fans are asking for her hiatus to end and for Gadam to be back on stage with her fellow members. There were multiple hashtags that were trending on Twitter, including hashtag Game Gadam, hashtag we want Gadam back, and hashtag we miss you Gadam. On top of everything, they're asking for an update from the company as Gadam's whereabouts haven't been known ever since she went on hiatus. A fan tweeted, We are waiting for you and preparing a beautiful path full of love for your comeback. We're always here for you and with you, Gim Garam. There's still silence on Hype's part regarding Garam's future in the group or company, but with the investigation being nowhere close to wrapping up, we shouldn't expect any update anytime soon. There's an update on AOA's Mina after a long time, but it's not what you might think. Her update is actually quite unexpected as she opened a cafe in Hongdae, Seoul. On July 10th, she shared pictures of her cafe and the address on her Instagram account. She said, Come visit the cafe. Take a break sipping a delicious coffee made by our store manager who has six years of experience as a barista. She said that she's currently only using the first floor of the cafe. She also posted another picture of herself and wrote, Let's meet at hashtag cafe 345. Mina also announced that she's recruiting new employees. While it's not the update that we expected of her, it's good that she's doing something for herself and venturing into new careers. Plus, she seems happy with it, and that's all that matters eventually, right? Seventeen's Hoshi burst into tears as he expressed his love and gratitude for the Seventeen members and their company, Pletus Entertainment. On July 8th, rapper Lee Yongji uploaded a video on her YouTube channel with Seventeen's Hoshi. The two started having drinks together, and eventually they got a little tipsy. That's when Lee Yongji started asking Hoshi about his love for the Seventeen members. Hoshi said, All 13 of us are really close to each other, and I'm not lying at all. I realized this even more when we renewed our contract with the agency not too long ago. I had a strong belief that we would all renew the contract. He went on to say, Although all members of a group may be close, it's not easy for every one of them to come up with the same decision about contract renewal because each of them have a different opinion. He then said that the members adjusted to each other's opinions and there was no specific answer to anything. Hoshi then talked about the times where he was considering giving up altogether. He said, I haven't said this anywhere, but there were times when I wanted to give up. There are lots of shows where we have to smile and laugh, and at one point I kept wondering if I could continue doing that. On what the 17 members mean to him, Hoshi said that he thinks of them like friends for life rather than family members. Hoshi then broke down in tears and hid his face with his hands as he expressed his love for his agency. Between tears he said, But I just want to say, I love our agency Pletus Entertainment. They've supported us since the days when we were nothing. They gave us so much support since then. He then started crying even more and repeated his love for the agency even more by expressing, I really do. I truly love my agency. Fans joke that Hoshi was being held at gunpoint by the agency, but no matter how much the fans think that the agency is being unfair to the members or even the group, at least we're safe knowing that the company is treating the members well enough that Hoshi started crying because of it. What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye!